Good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, if you've got a fire burning in air, uh, it turns out that the oxygen in the air is actually the limiting reagent in that chemical reaction. And so if you can increase the available oxygen, you can increase the rate of the combustion reaction and thereby increase the heat output from the fire. And this is the principle behind forge and furnace design. And there's a lot of very sophisticated furnace designs out there. But today I wanted to demonstrate a very simple forge design that can be improvised just about anywhere. And that's the open pit forge design, which is nothing more than a hole in the ground uh, with some kind of metal pipe running from the bottom of the hole to some source of air. Uh, and that could be, you know, a traditional bellows. You know, that's what they used before electricity. Nowadays, it's usually much more convenient to have an electric blower of some kind. I'm going to be using an old vacuum cleaner that I've converted to blow air out instead of sucking it in. And that seems to be very effective. Um, but anyway, you know, by building a fire in the hole and then, you know, using a blower of some kind to force air through the fire, we can increase the heat output uh, very substantially, and that makes it usable for a variety of applications. Um, so, without further ado, let's see what we can do. We'll give that fire a minute to get going there. You know, a wood fire works pretty good, but if you can get coal, that works even better. Well, now that we've got a good hot fire going, why don't we melt down some aluminum? You know, I've got some scraps here, you know, an old heat sink, you know, a piece of a ladder, parts of a broken wheel hub, you know, just miscellaneous aluminum scrap metal, and here I've got a homemade crucible made out of a piece of pipe with a plate welded on the bottom. Uh, so let's just melt these down and uh, refine the aluminum a little bit. I don't really have anything I intend to cast today, so uh, we'll just cast some ingots or something when we're done.
So there we've got about a pint of nice molten aluminum and I've been able to skim off most of the impurities from the scrap. To preserve this for future casting projects, I'm just going to pour it into a pot of water there to let it solidify. As you can see, there's our refined aluminum here. These little pieces are good for future casting projects. one thing you have to be careful of is that a forge like this will actually get hot enough to melt steel. So you'd notice I'd flattened about four inches on the end of that and about two of those inches just melted off there. Anyway, I think I've made my point. For as simple as it is to build, an open pit forge like this is remarkably effective for heating up metal. Thanks for watching the Idaho Show.